To start this tool tail, you're going to want to head over to the North Star C post over in H10. You're going to want to go up to the trading outpost and just to the right of Suds, the guy behind the post, there is the tool tail book. Just want to vote on it and you started the tool tail. So once the tool tail has begun, you will get the, uh, the Stars of a Thief book. You want to open it up and you're either going to head to Twin Groves or Rum Runner Isle. Depending on what text you have on these pages will determine where you go. If you have the lines, my back to the North Star, saw the island where we parted, not far from here, one small island made of two. If you have that beginning, you're going to head over to the Twin Groves. However, if you have face North Star, Sea Island, buried by a solitary hanging lantern, dig by lantern on island to find notes and telescope. You're going to head over to Rum Runner Isle. If you have Rum Runner Isle as your island, you're just going to want to look for a tree which has a lantern hanging down from it. It should be pretty easy to spot since the island is relatively small. So yeah, that's where you need to dig. Just dig below that and you will get your chest with the spyglass in. If you have to come to Twin Groves like me, then all you have to do is come between the two large rocks on the north side. Just here. Dig in between them in the sand and you will get the telescope. Now once you get your enchanted spyglass, you're going to want to head over to your book. You will pass all of these constellations and things that you will see in the sky, but they're not really needed right now. Uh, you will want to go to the back pages and you will have two stories there. For me, I have Great Eagle Landing and what was it? Battle in the Heavens. Now, you're going to want to read the riddle and go to the island in which it tells you to go to. So for me, that is Lonely Isle. Now, if you have the man who lost his gem, you're going to want to head to Mermaid's Hideaway. Now, I understand that in the book it tells you to head towards Discovery Ridge, I believe. However, you don't actually need to go there to get the gem. You're going to want to go onto Mermaid's Hideaway and go to the pond in the middle. You're going to want to go into the underwater cave and take the first right. You will see the star jewel on top of a pillar. If you have a story titled Lost an Eye, you're going to want to head over to Sharkbait Cove. Now in the middle of this island there should be a statue. If you go to the north side of the statue, there should be a small tunnel which takes you just under the uh, shark statue. Uh, the jewel should just be located in there. If you have a story titled The Patient One, you're going to want to head over to Thieves Haven. Go to the very centre of the island on the bottom where the shipwreck is and there should be a campfire next to the shipwreck. If you just dig between the campfire and the shipwreck, you will dig up the Star Jewel. If you have a battle in the heavens, you're going to want to he head over to Mutineer Rock. And the Star Jewel is located just between the four large rocks on the west side of the island. So if you just dig around there, dig in the middle of the four rocks, you will get the Star Jewel. If you have Sea Queen's Promise, you're going to want to go to the Isle of Last Words. Now, if you go underwater off the west side of the island, you will see the Star Jewel in the water. If you have They Were Voyagers, you're going to go to Discovery Ridge, and the Jewel should be just off the northwest side of the island. If you have Snake's Deception, you're going to head to Rapier K. And if you just go to the southeast side of the island, the Star Jewel is located there. Now, if you have the story titled A Hunt, um, this one's quite a weird one because it used to have to go to an unmarked island at J12. However, they have recently turned that into the Reaper's Hideout. So I'm not really sure what to do about this one because I've gone looking in the water. You were supposed to go just north of the island and you would find a kraken in the water and the star jewel would be there. However, I've gone looking and I can't find the kraken. So you might want to search around the uh, sunken shipwreck between the islands or go and look for yourself. Maybe you have a better eye than me. However, for a hunt, you are supposed to go to an uncharted island in J12 and look just north of that. Deep under the water, there should be a kraken skeleton. Now, if you, like me, have the Great Eagle Landing, you're going to want to come over to Lone Cove and locate the centre rock. 
Now you're going to want to go just southeast of the main rock and look into the sky. You'll see these really bright stars. You want to make the uh, eagle uh, constellation just above the main rock, so it's almost sitting on it, like in your book. Now just at your feet, you're going to want to dig. And there you have your first star jewel, or your second, depending on what part of the book this was in. Now for Battle in the Heavens, when you come over to Mutineer Rock, you're going to want to head over to the west side and in between these four large rocks, you're going to want to dig and you will get the Star Jewel. Once you have both of your Star Jewels, you're going to want to head to N13, to an unmarked island. You're going to want to head just west off of the island and in the water there will be an underground cave which takes you underneath the island. You're going to want to go into that cave, follow the tunnel, and there will be a large statue which you need to place both of the jewels in. Now, if you are doing this tall tale solo, I recommend keeping this ancient chest and putting both of the star jewels in the chest because you're going to be going down there anyway and you don't want to have to go down and then come back up. It's just long, so I would recommend putting the star jewels in the ancient chest. When you're on the island, you're going to want to come to this red plant on its own, or it's on its own little island. Just jump into the water, and down here you will see a cave. You want to follow this cave down, and eventually you will come to the statue. When you come up, just go to the left and walk around the, uh, the little river and you will see the statue just in front of you. You want to take out both of your jewels, place it in there, place it in the eyes, oh sorry, place it in the eyes and also there will be a uh, page of notes just here which you want to grab. This is essential to completing the rest of the tool tale. Also, you will get a totem, and once again, like the Shroud Breaker, each totem will take you to a different island. Now, for the next part, uh, you're going to want to look at what totem you have. If you have the Crab Totem, like I do, you're going to want to head to the Unmarked Island at N13, so you're not going to want to go anywhere. If you have the Boar Totem, you're going to want to head to Devil's Ridge, Moon Totem, Crescent Isle, Scarab Totem, Crook's Hollow, Snake Totem, Mermaid's Hideaway, and the Shark Totem to Kraken's Fall. If you have the Crab Totem like me, then you're just going to want to pick up your totem and just turn around. Just here is the ancient vault that you are looking for between the crab paintings. Just to the left of it is where you need to place the totem to unlock the vault. Now, for this part, the you're going to want to hold off on actually lighting the vault up with the, your lanterns because once you do so, you'll be trapped in and it will start filling up with water. For the next part of the tool tale, you're going to need to use the pages which you just got from outside of the vault. Now, you should have two paragraphs and each line of the paragraph represents a different icon which you need to input on the pillars. I'll put up different images now, there's a quite a lot of them, uh, for which line refers to which icon. It's very simple, you should, you should see what I mean. Uh, don't start the tool tale until you've got it memorized and then you should be good to go. Now if you have the same paragraphs as me, I'm going to show you which order to put the icons in and which sequence to do it. So if we just start this, I'll show you what you need to do. So the, an old one raised spit of land is a turtle. Then, and gave it to Eternal Man is the Great Warrior. These are all located in your book from earlier on. This is the Great Warrior. Now, he was taught to build it with tar and tree. This is the people in a boat. However, on the pillar, it's just a boat. The last of its kind showed him the seas. Now, this is just a fish. That looks like a fish. I just want to come over here and enter the solution. There you go. Now, the vessel led man on a journey is the boat once again. Then, to the one respected by all is the bear. There we go. 
The grump now happy with the season is the boar. And finally, and taught and all taught the warmonger to reason. This is once again the great warrior. There you go. And there you go. We're done. We've completed the tool tail. Let's go and grab the shroud breaker stone, which is what was needed for. Now, once you've grabbed your shroud breaker stone, you're going to want to head back up to the surface and return to suds. So once you arrive back at the sea post, you're going to want to head up to suds and just hand in the shroud breaker stone. And now you have completed oh, the tall tale. Such leave those ephemeris charts. Hmm. 